Welcome to Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffitt. Got the man cub with me. Got a rear viewer request about uh, proper sequence of stacking beads overhead, 7018. Going to run 8th inch, 125 amps. Uh, so we're going to start out and run one in the, in the throat of the weld here. Get your first pass in. All right. I personally, I don't know about you, I've always run this second bead at the toe of the first weld on bottom. On bottom, yep. And then go up. And I've seen a lot of people go backwards on that, and I've never really understood that. So uh, help us out. We're going to watch you do this weld. You run the root pass in here. Second pass is going to be on bottom, third on top. And we could run courses of beads in there. We always go bottom to top, correct? Bottom to top, yep. Okay. Esau Rebel 285, 125 amps. 15% arc force. Arc force. 25% hot, hot start. Starts. That's kind of where that machine said all the time anyway, isn't it? All right, let's get to welding. Mark, Mark. So, that gives the character. What do you got, about 10, 15 degrees lead angle? What, are you not answering me now? What? You got about 10, 15 degrees lead angle? Yeah. Okay. All right, I can't hear you. You're doing a little small side to side, catching both both plates? Yeah, make sure it burns any good. Okay. Circle. Circle. Huh? Huh? Well, I get to this end, I'm going to pause and come back into the pile a little bit. Let it go in. Get a little warm there. See what you got here, Cub. Oh boy. Oh. Good profile. Get a light up in there in a second. That looks like shit. So what what's going on? Uh, my toes are inconsistent. Okay. Circle. Stick the her in there and just leave it alone. So <clears throat> this next run, what was everything okay with that? Rod run all right and everything. Yeah, These are fresh rods out of the oven at yep. 300 degrees, and you got 25% uh, on your hot start, 15 on your arc force. Was that correct? You think? Yeah. All right. So your next run, you're gonna you're gonna row in toe of this weld here. All right. Same rod angle, same lead angle, whatever drag angle, 15, 10, 15 degrees. All right. Overlap the uh, next one by half. About, yeah. And just ride right on that toe? Build yourself a shelf so you can put the last one in. All right, sounds okay. good. I mean, that's the way it was taught to me years ago, and that's the way I've always practiced it and what I teach, so carry on. All right, I'm going to run the second one in here. Want this, uh, get that good rod angle in there, and this time let's just kind of leave it. Your speed is your width. Right. Just don't, try not to do the circle thing if you can. Right. Have you always done that? No, it just depends what the pole's doing. Okay. So. That makes sense. I just, you know, we want to get those good straight runs in there, so. Well, that came off pretty nice. What is that? Uh, you started, arc. You started your arc clear out here, didn't you, and brought it over? Yeah. It would have been okay if you'd have done it right underneath your bead and covered it up. Okay, we want to be real careful of this. Whenever you're getting ready to scratch up, you know, this is like tail end of your bead, first start of it. Scratch over here and get going. You want to be careful of this right here. Okay? Yep, thanks. Look like you ran, I mean, this thing had peel to it, so it ran in there all right. I was watching your arc voltage, which would have indicated any variations in your arc length. Mm -hmm. So, uh, see if you can start right up underneath here. Touch it right here, you got 25% hot start so you should be good let it settle down and then you can just rest this in there and commence that run right. when you come out here see if you can come out here to the end and come back through it just a little bit to fill that button up because we're kind of blowing this up here All right. see what i'm talking yeah, about I see okay it. Yeah. very good let me turn your machine back on for you better
And when you come out to the end, drag it back through about a quarter of an inch. Hold it. Okay. Got a little flag peel here, Holmes. That's right. Look at there. Better start. We still need to work on this stop down here. You can kind of see, see our crater is before our end. And that, I mean, that comes with holding a short arc. What do you think? It's okay. I need practice for sure. What do you need practice on? Uh, my starts, because I'm getting arc strikes right here. Crater fills and keeping my arc low uh, more consistent. I'm a little bit uh, high and low on my arc. Oh, uh, the arc length? Yeah. First thing I notice when I'm walking up here, I mean, I. You got a good profile um, as far as it laid in there at a 45. But when we come out here to the end, we've kind of blown this up a little bit. I'd like to see you come out here to the end with a short arc and then pull this back through a little bit. All right. It helps fill this up and blend it. All right. You know, if you, if you overfilled it, you come in and touch it, whatever. So I am concerned with that arc strike thing. That'll, you gotta be careful of that. Yeah. That'll get your DNA plastered all over the inspection trailer. You know that. No doubt, for right. real. So I agree with you. I mean, it does, but it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's, and these are, these are, these are welds that you got to practice. You do a whole bunch of them, you get a lot better at them. And the main thing was, the viewer concerned was, you know, how do I go about stacking that profile in there and getting it correct? Root pass, first pass on bottom, second. We run another course of beads. When I say course be like the next series of beads we're showing two on this course right yeah we'll be the next course would be three three and so on or whatever the weld needs because mm, uh, you know things happen sense. so yeah. anyway pretty good run rebel 285 eighth inch 7018 125 amps 25 percent hot start 15 yep. percent hot start no 25 percent hot start 15 percent arc force thank you run that low on 7018 not a bad go of it. I need to practice this myself. Hope you found this educational. Please subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Check out the man cub. He's uh, he's quite the hand. Yeah, buddy. Once you get past the arc marks there. <laughs> Thanks for watching Weld.com. Thank you. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hey Bob, can I ask everyone to follow me on uh, Instagram? Man Cub, how about, no. Oh my God. You gonna be all right over there? You look all right, Bob? Yeah, it looks great. Right, awesome. Yeah, keep it up. Looks wonderful. Right. You bet. <laughs>